A party isn't a party until something gets broken. Merry Christmas, girls. So, who wants to kiss me first? Mama, is that, is, is that really her? Of course it's me. Come here, honey. Oh, you feel so good. I'm glad I got here when I did. I think I just saved you from yourself. Uh, <laughs> Adriana. <laughs> you can thank me later. <laughs> Grandma, I, my little star, did you think I'd forgotten you? Never, never, <laughs> never. You're so lovely and so grown up. Thank you. <laughs> You've done a wonderful job with these girls, Dorian. Addie, it's me. I know. But how? It was time, don't you think? And who is this lovely young woman? The newest member of our family. My foster daughter, Langston. Langston? What a fabulous name. Thank you. <laughs> Mama, why, why don't you um, uh, sit down? Over because here? I don't want to. I'm, I've been sitting down for 40 years. I'm through with sitting down. It's Christmas Eve, and I am proposing a toast to a brand new me. It was really great seeing you. You too. If you remember anything else about Marcy. Yeah, I'll give you a call. You know, it's a terrible thing. A father losing the chance to watch his son grow up. something. What? Oh my God. That ring. You married? Me? No, no. This is, um, I'm pot, I'm potting this for a friend. We have to talk. <laughs> this friend of mine a favor. She's divorced and she needs the money. Uh, and she couldn't bring herself to, you know, haggle with the guy. So she asked how, me to how do much, it. How much does she want for it? I'm sorry? The ring. How much? Why? Because I'm in the market. And if it's not too pricey, I might be able to take it off your hands. I thought you told me your grandmother was, you know, out of the ball game. Well, she was. I mean, she's been institutionalized since before I was even born. So then what happened? I honestly don't know. Addie, where did you get all this stuff? The internet. It, it, you just go online and they have all these wonderful pictures of wonderful things and you click, click and, and they send them to you. Uh, wrapped. Uh, oh. Mama, you look wonderful. It's just, we're so surprised. Well, good. What's Christmas without a few surprises? <laughs> I'm calling St. Anne's. Don't touch that phone. Those days are over. I myself, whatever that is, aren't you happy for me? Oh, Mama, of course. We're very, very happy for you. It's just, I think we're, we're a little shocked that the doctors didn't tell us how well you were doing. Because I told them to keep their traps shut. I wanted you to take one look at me and just know. We are thrilled. It, it, it you know, it is a, 
a big change, and uh, I guess we just don't know what to make of it. And you'd feel more comfortable talking to my doctor than to me? Yes, that's a wonderful <laughs> idea. I'm going to call Dr. Bonner now. He's right here. Eddie? Dr. Edward Bonner, my miracle man. In cases like these, ordinarily, I do like to prepare the family first, but Addie insisted on surprising you all. Prepare us for what? For your sister's transformation. Yes, it is a big difference, Dr. Bonner. I'm just the same as I always was. I'm just not trapped inside anymore. And what's responsible for this change? It's because of you, Dr. Lord. Why don't we let the doctors chat? Addie, would you like some eggnog? Is there rum in it? Uh, the sisters wouldn't even let us have hard cider. <laughs> Dr. Bonner? What is going on here, and why was I the last to know? As a matter of fact, you and I have discussed this, and when we spoke a while ago, you gave me permission to try a new medication. Wait, you're saying this is all because of a little pill? Oh, yeah. None of the literature that you gave me described personality changes as, as drastic as this one. I mean, this is extreme. My sister has been in mental institutions ever since she was star's age, even younger. Mm, heavenly. You look happy. <laughs> I am happy. In fact, I think this is the happiest day of my life. We're so glad, Grandma. <laughs> so, so happy. <laughs> She's having some sort of manic episode. Don't you see what's going to happen when it goes the other way? It, it, despair, depression, suicidal thoughts. Come on, come on. I don't think she looks manic at all. I mean, she truly looks happy. Manically happy. Oh. He's given her her life back. She's back in the world again. For how long, Blair? She's been at peace for years, and now she's on some sort of psychotrophic seesaw. Oh, what would you want? I mean, if you were given the choice, would you rather be in St. Anne's making potholders? Or would you rather be here in your home, surrounded by your family that love you? You want to buy my friend's diamond ring? Well, it's not for me. Who's it for? For, you know, my girlfriend. My fiance. Well, she's not my fiance yet, but as soon as I get the ring and I ask her, she will be. Are you married? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs>